we wanted to walk through the GUI and show you the GUI and talk a little bit about what the settings do. And I will try to walk you through it a little bit. So the main screen is pretty similar to other instruments. We utilized as much as we could um, for it to be familiar um, to start and run a program. The machine will come with two programs on it. So go ahead and click the program button. Um, and the progressive one and the regressive one will be on the machine, a new machine when you get it. Um, so they're good, they're good uh, programs to start with that we have used in external and internal validation. And so they're, they're, they're pretty good. Let's go ahead and create a new program where we can get in and see the settings and talk about them a little bit. So let's hit add. We're going to add a new program. When you create a new program, you got to decide if you want to kind of start with progressive or regressive defaults. Today, we'll start with progressive. And uh, GUI gives you the option of separating nuclear and cytoplasmic staining, just kind of general um, to get started with. So we'll do 5.4. So HTOX of 5, EEA cytoplasmic of 4. Go ahead and hit continue. It's going to take you into this menu that has all of the settings. There's 11 different settings that we can work with to get staining customized, meet the user's preferences. Um, let's go ahead and go to the general tab. We're going to try to talk a little bit about each of these. So the pre-washes, they're used to wash off carbo wax that the slides have been fixed with. So pre-wash of alcohol of like three would wash off our carbo wax well. Um, end spin is an option where uh, one of the big differences on this machine is, is that we end with the slides wet and we want to keep them wet, but we give the users the option to have end spin so that they can spin the carousel enough to get the standing liquid off of it, clear the slides a little bit, just so it's a little bit easier to handle. So most of the defaults will, on the machine will come at like one or two. You can turn it off completely, the slides as wet as possible. It'll give them as much time to work with them um, so they have the least likelihood of drying out. But if the carousel is a little bit messy, if it's come out a little cleaner, you can bump the end spin up. So that's, that's those settings. Let's go to the intensity tab. So like other machines, the intensity for each stain can be turned up and down. And here you have the opportunity to adjust nuclear and cytoplasmic again, and also bluing and orange. And so as you turn the HTOX up, your intensity of the nuclear staining will go up. So the nuclear part of the cell will get darker. And the bluing helps turn up from purple to blue in the staining process. So they can work with each other the bluing and the HTOX to help get the nuclear detail. That's important. Um, same with the orange G and the cytoplasmic staining, those will affect the cytoplasm. And so if you orange is pretty intense, the first step would be to turn down the OG a little bit. Um, and then we'll also some washes, we'll get into the washes in a minute. Um, so that kind of covers this tab. Let's go ahead and go to the wash tab. So for each stain, there's a wash that happens after it and the wash will work with the stain. So you could turn the wash up and that will decrease intensity and wash the stain away kind of per se um, for each of those. That covers the 11 settings that the machine has. Cleanliness, cleanliness is the thing that you want. And so it's the acid alcohol wash that you want to increase a little bit, but that's increased depending on um, regressive or the progressive staining that you use. So I would read up on those so that you're familiar with that. And um, that's the differences between the two stainings. In the manual, the appendix has some really good information about each stain and the washes and acid alcohol and how they work. 